For today's video, we're taking you along to eat some legendary diner food here in Hawaii. It's an OG, old school, local diner. We had to share this foodie experience with you guys. Innovative and classic, all meshed together. One awesome diner. This is like a breakfast dream. But make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the video because we are going to a dessert place. This definitely hits the spot. It's so hot and muggy today. What's going on, Foodie Ohana? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. And for today's episode, on this gloomy Friday, we are gonna feature some local comfort food. We are taking you guys along to eat some really local, awesome diner food. Let's just say we ordered some local favorites, hefty plates, awesome flavor. So if you guys have not already, before we get into today's video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps push our channel. And join our foodie ohana by clicking that subscribe button right down below. And let's get into today's video because we are starving. We're in desperate need for comfort food and I'm in desperate need of a haircut. <laughs> Let's get going. Let's go. Up in the clouds, I can see the whole world now. Breathtaking world, can't believe my eyes. Up in the sky, I can see the whole world tonight. Cause you make me feel like I want to get lost in your paradise. All right, Foodie Ohana, today we are here in Aea, Hawaii, featuring. 49er diner restaurant been around since 1947 guys more on that a little bit later while we're eating but we already ordered online ahead because as of now they're only doing online order takeout phone orders and it looks like they have an outdoor dining area but there's some copyrighted music playing so we're gonna take you guys along with us to a spot and enjoy the food we already ordered ahead so i'm gonna go in and grab our grinds So guys, right across the street from 49ers, 49er Diner? <laughs> so right across the street from 49er Diner is a place called Aea State Recreational, Aea Bay State Recreational Park. And unfortunately it's closed. It looked really nice on the out and it's right across the street. But I guess we're gonna have to find a new park. Wanna go to our OG or? Probably. Ain't nothing wrong with OG, yo. I guess we'll see you guys when we're eating food then, guys. <laughs> And before we get into today's video, we want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you and millions of others can explore new skills with thousands of classes. And Skillshare has so many variety of classes to fit your schedule and if you guys want any new skill sets. And the great thing about Skillshare is that there's no ads. You don't have to skip, you don't have to wait, you can just keep on learning. And there's minimal interruptions, so you don't have to interrupt your learning process. And guys, there's no schedule for Skillshare, so if you wanna pause and go back later, you can definitely do that as well. And on Skillshare, there's so many variety of classes. There's lifestyle classes, like interior design, cooking, freelancing, marketing, entrepreneurship, or there's more creative classes, like creative writing, illustration, photography, editing, and a lot of things about YouTube as well. And right now we've been really into baking basics. Make perfect pastries every time by Umber Ahmad. She is a renowned baker, a pastry chef, and she has so many cool tricks and tips about baking that I honestly never knew about. And I really, really suck at baking, guys. And she talks all about the different kind of doughs and some really, really easy recipes step by step so that we can learn with her. So if you guys are interested in checking out Skillshare, we highly recommend it. So if you guys are interested in Skillshare, we're going to be leaving the link down in the description below. So the first thousand people who click and join using our link will receive one month free trial of Skillshare's premium membership so you can explore your creativity. 
Now let's get back to today's video. Let's go. All right, guys, we finally made it. OG park spot. You already know. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed by now, I got an upgrade. It's my Splint 2.0. So if you guys haven't seen the movie already, Shang-Chi in theaters, I'm already filming for the sequel, Felix, The Legend of One Ring. <laughs> the Suffering. Oh, God. <laughs> How long did you wait to say that <laughs> joke? Uh, I didn't wait. I just came up with it. <laughs> so guys, today, as mentioned, we went to 49er Diner. It's an OG, old school, local diner here in the Aiea area. And we took you guys along with us because we had to share this foodie experience with you guys. And we're super excited because we got some really Ono looking plates, guys. You will not be disappointed when you see what we got. Hopefully we won't too. 49er Diner, been around since 1947. and. Fun fact, it wasn't actually named after the football team. That's what y'all are thinking. It was actually named after the San Francisco Miners, the 49er Miners. I thought that was kind of interesting. But yeah, they actually closed down in 2006. The original owners retired and it was recently bought by a local and he claimed it was his favorite restaurant. So he wanted to keep it alive, keep the tradition alive. So he took over and has been pumping out the same recipes ever since, even incorporated some new items, and we got one of them today. So let's get started with the most appetizing for me, which is always Loco Moco. You guys know, leave a thumbs up if you guys know how much I love Loco Mocos, but today, the one we got has a twist on it, which is kind of, it's like, duh, how come I never had this before? It's so obvious, but yet so creative. It's Loco Moco with corned beef hash and some kind of crack daddy sauce, I don't know. So, <laughs> I don't know. So other places they've done corned beef hash, local moco type of ish dish. But not with a burger and corned beef hash. Yeah, you guys will see. So there's a lot of layers in here, guys. There's egg, crispy corned beef patty hash, hamburger and patty, and then the rice. And I'd even have to tell them over here, guys, they did gravy all over. So you know, this is a OG spot. When they already know, they ain't got, you ain't gotta tell them. You ain't gotta request for gravy all over. They're gonna already do it for you. Oh no. Oh no, egg fell. The egg popped all over the place. Okay, let's just dig into it. Cause it looks freaking bomb. Gravy all over, just how I like it. Oh, I see some caramelized onions too. Mmm. This thing is hefty and huge guys. This is a yoked out hamburger steak patty. But I'm full. All right, I'm gonna get a bite with a little bit of everything. Me too. All right, cheers. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mm. Guys, oh my goodness. That sauce is very surprising. Everything is very tender, flavorful. Mmm. Mm. This is like a breakfast dream, a dream breakfast. That sauce that Amanda's talking about, it's called their dirty sauce. You can actually put on any of their local mocos for like, I think a dollar fifty extra. But this one comes with it. It's called the dirty hash local moco and it already comes with the dirty sauce. And it's kind of like a thousand island dressing sauce, but it goes really surprisingly well with this dish. Hefty burger, hefty corned beef hash patty, nice and savory, yummy, over easy egg and that sauce it does add some kind of like tang to it which i'm for i don't mind it marries perfectly i know you always get mad for saying that but i really like this for all of you who love local mocos just like me come and try this this is really good tanginess of the sauce sweetness of the caramelized onions creaminess of the egg yolk with the gravy mm. oh man that nice extra potatoey texture and flavor of corned beef hash and of course the star of the show, the burger patty. I was so tempted to order their dine-in. You know when you go to a diner, you gotta order their diner burger, but we are filming double series burger special coming up soon, so saving my appetite for that. If you guys ever try 49 Diner, do yourselves a favor, try their burgers too, because the patty here is awesome. Mmm, it still has like a crisp to it too, even though it's smothered in all that beefy gravy and dirty sauce. I will say though, the dirty sauce, I'm not a huge fan of it. Like I can do without it, but if you like that extra tang, you can try it out. See if you like it. And of course, when you get loco moco, you gotta get mac salad. So unfortunately, the loco moco doesn't come with mac salad. We ordered it on the side, but guys, foodie ohana. When you see spaghetti mac, you know it's the real deal. 
Get the Mac feels. Get the spaghetti Mac. Come on now. I'm gonna try some of that without anything first. Creamy, stringy goodness. Mmm. Very mm. OG flavor. Very peppery. Very oh my god, oh, that was man, like that flower was huge. That was huge. <laughs> it was as big as my eyeball. Guys, this thing is really good. Look, we're almost done with it. <laughs> we're still on this dish. It's that good. I like the mac too. The mac is really good. It has a tang to it. A nice tang. It's creamy, a little eggy, and a little tangy. Maybe mm. mustard in there? I don't know. We're so glad that a local and also a big fan of this restaurant took over the business. Because, I mean, you know Love and Carol go into the dish. They didn't just buy it outright for the name or you know just to take over and make money like the owner grew up eating here guys and he didn't he was sad to see the restaurant go so why not he took over still utilizing the same recipes adding flair they have specials too guys make sure you check out their website their yelp which is linked in the description down below let's move on to the next dish and guys you know that this is good because i barely even said a word that was just so good yeah when's the just last time <laughs> When's the last time you see Amanda grinding away? I could not stop. That was so good. Another 49er classic. We got fried Simon. You already know. They also have regular brothies, broth Simon here too, guys. But today's way too muggy and hot for Simon. So we got their fried Simon. So normally an order comes with just the fried noodles. Looks like char siu meat, kamaboko, which is fish cake, and slices of spam. But I got the terry beef Simon. They also have garlic chicken too, but I feel like we've been eating a lot of garlic chicken lately. Oh, I love these thin noodles like this, like the Simon noodles. So nostalgic. Okay. Can't be beat. Gotta get some spam and some kamaboko. Cheers. Ooh. Got the perfect bite right here. Mmm. So nostalgia. I will say a little bit on the bland side. What do you think? I Ooh. think you gotta just get all it in there. Like I mentioned in which episode? We were driving? One of the episodes we did. Fried Simon is meant not to be super salty and overbearing. It needs to be a little bland because it complements everything else. It reminds me of growing up eating out of the Manapur truck, getting the little plastic bag of Simon, fried Simon. It was only like $1.25. Oh man. I'm gonna try some of that Terry beef. And like I mentioned, fried Simon was a staple at home for me. Ooh. Mmm. The Terry beef is good. The Terry beef here is nice and thick, not too thick but thicker than your average slices. And they use ribeye here, guys, so the beef is good quality. Let me try. Mm. And y'all know I'm not really a big Terry beef fan, so when I heard ribeye, I had to try it. Am I gonna like it? I think it's okay. Mm. Has a good Terry flavor. Ooh, that's actually not bad. The one thing I don't like about Terry beef is like, sometimes it can be kind of like tough and overly like saucy but this one is actually like more like a like a cow bee kind of taste it does go really well with the noodles i will say that and i like that it's like i said on the thicker side the slices the only thing is i wish they gave more of it it was an extra charge for a side of terry beef i just wish they gave more like maybe one more piece but can't deny the flavor can't deny the nostalgia you know local comfort food hits the spot when it reminds you of your childhood or home cooking but i need to finish this local moko because it's that good. Oh man, you ate all the patty. No. The one thing I do like about the local moko here is that they don't give a lot of rice. Some places I feel like it's 50% rice. You know, like it's just very heavy on the rice, but here they give like the perfect amount of rice. What you don't want is a 70% rice to 30% filling ratio, because that's a no-no. Mm -hmm. This place does it pretty even. Man, as locals would say it, clean house, gone. <laughs> it's that good. I don't know if it's because they haven't updated it, but it says breakfast until 10.30. No, it's breakfast all day. We confirmed with the register guy. Yeah. Actually, we came here at lunchtime and we ordered breakfast. So we got one of their breakfast menu items, special of the day, lemon ricotta pancakes. See you guys? Innovative and classic, all meshed together. In one awesome diet. Y'all ready or what? Oh yeah, oh, this smells really lemony. You already know by now, lemon is my favorite. All right, cheers. cheers. Oh man. Mm. Oh. Mm. Woo. That's good. If you guys like tart flavors like me, oh, this is right up your alley. If you guys like pancakes, woo, tart and pancake meddling together. Oh, this is so good. 
It's so fluffy, guys. So freaking fluffy. And the lemon flavor is not too strong, but it is like a, a hint of lemon. It's not super duper sour and lemony, but it's, it's nice and sweet. I think it's the perfect amount. I just realized there's not even syrup on this. There was, but I think it melted. I don't know. We took a while to set up as usual, but this thing is good. Do yourselves a favor, lemon ricotta pancake. I know it's not an OG classic, but guys, ain't nothing wrong with new stuff. And they topped it with fresh berries. Give it a nice hint of freshness, a little tartness from the berries as well. Very, very good. Mm. Mm. I'm not even joking. This is good. This is like a complete breakfast, guys. Uh, this is moldy, bro. Oh no, that was unfortunate. And then whatever is right here, I'm gonna take it out. I really like this too. All right, guys, so make sure you light your food carefully when you eat. Like not everywhere is perfect, guys. I'm not gonna ding anything on them. I think one of the berries went bad, but everything else looks good and the flavor is so good. It's a little moldy, y'all. And as you guys know, fresh berries, of course, fresh things do go bad. It, it's just a fact of life. And unfortunately, yeah, one of them was a bit moldy, but hey, you just put that one on the side and continue eating and it's all G. I'm still eating it because it's that good. Yeah, come here, I guess, for brunch. If you had a late breakfast or you're up early, they have a lot of stuff. We saw adobo fried rice, your usual breakfast fares, bacon eggs. Make sure you get the ricotta pancakes though. I do one thing wish that they gave some kind of like sauce on the side because I think they put the sauce on top and the pancakes soaked it all up, but it would be nice to have some on the side, but make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of the video because we are going to a dessert place. So stay tuned. Oh man. It doesn't this, end here. Oh man, this is my dessert already. I'm happy to have it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, as of the 13th September, I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but there's a vaccine mandatory place if you're dining in, guys. So be aware of that if you're on vacation while you're watching this. I think it's tentative for the next six weeks. For so a Honolulu County though, Honolulu or the island of Oahu, there is a mandate where if you are dining into any establishment, you need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test within the past 48 hours. So just be aware of that guys. And yeah, we'll see you guys when dessert happens, which is like right now for you guys, but couple minutes for us. <laughs> See oh, you guys there. YouTube magic. <laughs>of youtube magic suddenly we're here about to enjoy shea vice with y'all so originally i thought we were going to share one cup but amanda wanted her own so we got two today we got our frosty tasty treats at baldwin sweet shop they've been around since 1978 so they've been serving these bad gals for quite a while now it's about four generations or so guys this is shea vice we got smalls which is literally like a small like a small cup coke cup i don't know like a fountain drink cup but the this eight cup but this don't is not let, eight ounces. This, this is, is for sure. eight ounce. This is like twelve. This isn't twelve. Twelve is the sc eight ounces is one cup. Yeah, this is one cup. This is not one cup. This one is cup is like ounce. the solo cups. That's less than eight ounces. That's, That's six. No, there's an eight ounce one. Anyways, guys, leave a comment down below. How many ounces is in this cup? Anyway, guys, this is hefty. It ain't no just airy ice. There's actual like weight to this. Like, they, they pack it down. And I got mine with. Ice cream and mochi balls. He got ice cream and snow cap, which is like condensed milk all over the top. It looks like a snow cap of a mountain. Oh, we didn't think this through. You're literally like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I thought we were gonna share. You're gonna help me. Now I gotta use my freaking uh, sorry, my Shang Chi arm over here. Which flavor would you guys rather get? So Amanda got what are the three? You can choose Stra up to three flavors. Yeah, you can choose up to three. I got strawberry, Li Hang, and pina colada. I think. That sounds good, yeah, guys. I got root beer, 
chocolate and coffee. <laughs> he was gonna get root beer, chocolate, and strawberry. I was like, ew, that's nasty. I was that thinking because I was thinking, oh, what would go good with the vanilla ice cream on the bottom? So I was thinking strawberry ice cream. But then I already got root beer and, and chocolate. So I was like, oh man, I just I, I just went dark, y'all. Mm. So I, I don't have my grip strength yet. So I'm gonna be eating it like I'm nestling a shave ice baby. Woo! This definitely hits the spot. It's so hot and muggy today. Oh my goodness. This is mm. good. I think the consistency of this shave ice is not super duper duper light and fluffy, but it's not super super crunchy and like more on the crush side. It's more in the middle. I feel like it's almost a consistency of like a smooth slushy that you yeah. can like eat. Can't go wrong. It's not the really chunky, hard, like crunchy ice. You don't hear us like <laughs> biting the ice, but it's not as fine as like snow ice but guys they do not skimp on the filling here i don't know if you can see that they packed the ice cream i only got like i know look there's already ice cream i only got like one inch from the top layer and there's already ice cream usually most places they pack all the ice cream on the bottom and you got to get to the bottom in order to enjoy your ice cream but anyway Brain freeze. where's your mochi balls you have or is in the bottom too? oh it's right here you guys see that mochi ball The only Cheerio. thing is they don't give straws here. Oh yeah, I think there was over there you gotta grab. Oh. Well you gotta do like mana, mana po chop kind where you, you eat and then you sip them after when it's melting. Yeah, definitely you guys are in the area. Oh, we forgot to say where we at. Waimalu. <laughs> well, we're in Waimalu guys. Like literally almost right across the street from Neil Blaze up Park where we were filming earlier. And we have eaten here. Oh yeah. Shiro's. Shiro Simon. That was a video I just got over my long crazy stomach flu session. You guys haven't seen that or heard about that you guys are just tuning in you know some of y'all are new here to the foodie ohana check that video out amanda will put it somewhere oh, oh look at that she got like six shave ice and if you guys are new here we forgot to introduce ourselves i'm amanda that's felix and we are amanda and felix eats we do videos taking you guys along on all of our foodie adventures so make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like this video help us out join our foodie ohana we invite anyone who loves to eat who loves food and loves Hawaii to come join us. So hit that subscribe button. So I can't get over that girl. She had like six shave ice cups and then she had one huge jumbo one, like the biggest one. Man, that's a true, true dedication. She probably grew up eating here at Baldwin's. That's how long they've been around. So I'm, I'm a little tired of holding it like that. I'm just gonna leave it down here. It's easier for me to eat. <laughs> I just that looked kind of weird. Okay, maybe I should take it back though. We're eating in the car. I don't want people to walk by and think I'm doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. Yeah, as ridiculous as this is, I'm just gonna have to hold it like this. Mine tastes like a chocolate malt float or a root beer float. Dang, you're almost done with yours. I barely made a dent in mine. Mmm. Yeah, yours tastes like root beer float. You should've just gone with all root beer. Yeah, I should've. Ooh, yours, yours is good too. Yours tastes kind of like medicine. I think it's something with the lean mui mixed with the strawberry. Yeah. No. Oh, no. yours is good. I know. Try mine, guys. Oh, no. You know what it is? It's the, this mochi ball. It's like blueberry flavor or something. It's That's weird. so weird. Yeah. Maybe you don't get the mochi here, guys. The owners at Baldwin Sweet Shop are super cool, super nice. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you let them know that we sent you guys because they were super awesome. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Film. You guys are welcome to film. So they were super cool. And yeah, shout outs to them. Make sure you guys check them out. Woo! If you want to go to Baldwin's, it's in White Malu Shopping Plaza. Oh yeah. They, they have shave ice. They have candies. They have preserved fruits like crack seeds. Crack seed style. They have all kinds of stuff, guys. Local favorites. If you guys want to do this foodie adventure like the one we had today, 49ers and Baldwin Sweet Shop, make sure you guys check the links down below in the description. We'll have everything linked down there. And you guys can recreate this foodie adventure for yourselves. And if you do, make sure you guys tag us on Instagram, take some photos. We did make a new hashtag, hashtag Amanda and Felix Eats. Use that hashtag, we'll check it, we'll check it out. And we'll be commenting on your guys' posts. So tag us and hashtag Amanda and Felix Eats and we'll check out your posts. We'll be exploring your guys photos i mean it's very interesting to see what you guys end up choosing when you come here after watching our videos mm -hmm. and when we do look at it we're like oh yeah that you know 
good choice. <laughs> so make sure you guys tag us. Always love to hear from you guys too. And if you like this type of foodie content, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is right under this video. It helps our channel, helps our foodie Ohana grow. And add us on Instagram because we post a lot there and we post a lot of the things that we don't post on YouTube, just more personal content. So make sure you guys follow us there as well. Yeah, if you guys haven't already, subscribe. Where else can you find Hawaii's best food vlog and soon to be home cooking videos and soon to be travel videos and soon to be handicap free videos. <laughs> so we'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Oh, oh. We upload every Monday and Friday. Oh yeah, Monday, Friday, Friday guys. Check it out, hit the bell. <laughs> you already know what to do. We'll Peace out. Next one. Bye guys. All right guys, today we are in Aiea, Hawaii. Is it Aiea, Hawaii? Aiea. <coughs> <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> ah. Sorry. Hefty. What? What is that called? Corned beef hash patty. Heavy on the rice. What? I mean... Versus this one tastes really, really homeschool. Like, I mean, what? The menu. On the menu, I don't know if they have... have is... Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> A little behind the scenes. Men on the B-roll action. I'm on the broken bus <coughs> action. Is it supposed to be like drastically towards you or...? Yep. Okay. Today? Oh yeah, that's better. Hashtag that I'm... Um, that's pretty... Actually, not too bad either.